All right, so this was a old school car. Again, I'm going to emphasize it doesn't matter that this is a older car. Do these principles still apply today? Absolutely. I said yesterday that Caleb and I have a case study on a 2021 Toyota pickup that we were uh, doing the same process we're talking about today and calling a bad engine computer. This engine computer on this Toyota is probably $2,000. So the question to all of us when we're faced with a vehicle like that is are we $2,000 confident that this needs a module? That's the whole purpose of this class. What should I check? Powers, grounds, references, five volt reference circuit, comm signals. Make sense? I want to build on this class. I really eventually want to take it from what we're doing now, powers, grounds, five volt ref. We did some can stuff yesterday, which I really was happy I got through. Uh, I want to get into more of the communication area networks and the gateways and the multiple um, uh, uh, different networks that the cars run. I mean, it's all, it's all really the same. The nice thing about the automotive trade is the fundamentals. Learn your fundamentals and then you can plug that into everything. You'll, you'll say to yourself often when some new technology comes out and they're like, oh, you know, this new technology is gonna be really hard. And then you, you get your hands on it and then you're like, wait a minute, this is familiar. I know this because I know how this order system worked. I know my fundamentals. I can plug it right in. All right, we're going to see that this morning with this first car. Uh, again, another no communication, no start issue. And I wanted to start before I jump into my planned lesson. This is actually in my book. This is chapter nine. You guys all have access to it. This is the five volt reference circuit. So when we make a call on a bad module, I mentioned yesterday, uh, powers, grounds, communication, familiarize yourself, check the easiest stuff first, right? One of the easiest tests that we can do for a no communication on a module is this five volt reference circuit. Um, and so I just wanted to pull this up to make sure we're all on the same page on how this thing works. Many cars today have, the most I've seen is four four separate five volt regulators inside of a module. Whether there's one or whether there's four doesn't make a difference as far as using it to, or as a guide to see if the computer's alive. If you turn the key on, on your car, and say the engine computer's not talking, which is what we're going into on this next case study. If you turn the key on, car's not talking, meaning the scan tool, it's no communication, maybe the car doesn't start a very fast check before even even faster than going to the fuse box finding the correct fuses and checking the fuses go right to the throttle body all, all of our cars today are you know drive by wire no throttle cable but there's still two different throttle position sensors in the throttle body on every car that's out there that's if it's easy to get to go to the throttle body and um, you can even unplug the connector and Check all the wires on there. What are we looking for at that throttle body? Some of those wires got to have five volts. If I check all of those wires on a throttle body, maybe it's got eight pins. I have no idea what's what. And I check them all and I see no five volts. Isn't that a good guide to tell me, hey, this computer's not waking up here. It's a, it's a huge guide. Okay. All right. So that's what we're going to do with this car. And I want to make sure, because we have a bad ground on this car, I want to make sure you guys understand what a bad ground would do in this picture on the 5-volt regulated circuit. And any questions you may have here, please, I have no problem backing up and making sure we're all clear on what this thing's doing. But inside of the computer, if you look at this picture, you can see we have a fuse. I just have a generic picture, right? There's a fuse right there that's going into my, into my engine computer, and it supplies this five volt regulator. So how are we, what's a regulator do, say on a charging system? We're taking 14 volts, how are we making 14 volts? It's, it's pulsing on and off, right? That, that alternator's capable of 20 volts, but we're gonna pulse that on and off and maintain a 14 volt level. What happens when you turn your headlights on? There's a draw, there's current flow on the system, battery voltage drops, Regulator adjusts, bring the voltage back to 14. So we're 14 headlights on, 14 headlights off. That makes sense? 
So this regulator is doing the same thing in the computer. We're taking 12 volts, we're dropping it down to five. How are we doing that? It's a pulsed circuit. We need, listen to me carefully. We need a ground to do that. Does that make sense? What happens if this regulator here loses that ground? What do you think the output of this, so this red line here, what do you think the output is gonna be on all of these circuits if I lose a ground in the board? Voltage level, it's gonna be 12. You'll see 12 volts on your sensors when you have no ground on that five volt regulator, when you have no ground on that board, okay? Where does that regulator get grounded? It grounds to the board. Where does the board get grounded? It grounds to the block. So this picture isn't showing that, but you would have, um, you would have a main board ground. We could, we could say that that's it, but coming from that, that thing's gonna come out and ground externally to the block. Um, I don't wanna get too much into the weeds on the rest of this. Highly recommend you guys watch my chapter nine, which is where I'm at, playlists. Uh, and if you didn't know that, what I've done page for page, literally through the book, I've taught every single page. So I encourage you to do that. Chapter nine, if you want more on operation of this five volt reference circuit, it's really, really important. This is one of those fundamentals that doesn't change. All right, so this was a old school car. Again, I'm gonna emphasize, it doesn't matter that this is a older car. Do these principles still apply today? Absolutely, I said yesterday that Caleb and I have a case study on a 2021 Toyota pickup that we were uh, doing the same process we're talking about today and calling a bad engine computer. This engine computer on this Toyota is probably $2,000. So the question to all of us when we're faced with a vehicle like that is are we $2,000 confident that this needs a module? I mean, that's the whole purpose of this class. What should I check? Powers, grounds, references, five volt reference circuit, comm signals. Make sense? So what we're covering on this old school Ford Taurus, which is what this car is, is the same thing that Caleb and I walked through on that 2021 Toyota.